Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection Bebop. Inspired by the original uh, animated series from 1988, a fully articulated Bebop to complement the rock steady that we've already had a look at. Down below are the cartoon turtles from the original series. Though the packaging really has a vintage feel to it. I mean, the back card is vintage. That is a nice touch. Um, on the back of the package, Inspired by the original TMNT animated series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back like never before in a collector quality figures. Featuring signature weapons and classic sewer cover bases, these perfect old school cartoon recreations will leave you, leave you screaming. Cowabunga. About the turtles catapulted from indie comic origins to superstardom by the original uh, Mirakami Wolf Swenson, or MWS, animated series. TMNT ran on air for nearly a decade, from 1987 to 1996, and ranked number one in ratings for an unprecedented five straight years. About Bebop and Rocksteady characters, after Shredder's defeat by the Turtles, Shredder and Krang devised two mutagen experiments that would destroy the Turtles, Bebop and Rocksteady. Originally, Street Thugs volunteered for the experiment and, as a result, gained superior fighting abilities. The experiments transformed Bebop into a fearless mutant ro warthog and Rocksteady into a ferocious mutant rhino, hungry for revenge. The turtles better watch out for these mutants. Uh, what are you doing with those animals? It's a little experiment. Anywho's, Spot's going to take himself a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Bebop. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And included with Bebop, you'll get yourself a manhole cover, the exact same as what Rocksteady had come with, and the other Ninja Turtles, except down below is his name, Bebop. A nice detailed base with two pegs to complement the two peg holes there on the undersides of Bebop. These bases also really allow you to pose the Turtles and the respected mutants in nice dynamic poses. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles down below. The other accessory that comes with Bebop is his classic drill weapon. Not really quite sure how this would work, whether you just kind of squeeze it and we just go like this, kind of like the driller killer from uh, the sleep, uh, what was it, the Slumber Party Massacre. What an odd reference to be using spot for a Bebop toy, but there you go. A nice coloring, by the way, too. The original, I think, was just a matted gray, whereas this is probably a little more of a gunmetal color. I do like it, though. Which then brings us to Bebop. And while I think... While I think I did enjoy Rocksteady... You know what? Let's just bring the comparison right now. While I did enjoy Rocksteady... Put that right there. I think I dig Bebop just a little bit more. In fact... I don't know, I've always liked the design of Bebop a little bit more than Rocksteady, even though I thought Rocksteady was a more interesting character. But uh, there's the two together. It looks like Rocksteady is just a little bit taller than Bebop, but Bebop's a little bulkier in mass than what Rocksteady is. Uh, it looks as if they probably have shared the same legs, perhaps the same legs have been reused for this figure. Hands are definitely different. Arms probably are also been reused, but that's fine. If if it comes down to them reusing arms and legs, and it gives us new turtle toys, so be it. I'm all in favor of that. The uh, comparison that I used with Rocksteady, I'll bring in Leonardo. You can see that, uh, yeah, they are just a little bit shorter. Your preference, of course, but... I would have liked them just a slight bit taller. And you know, when I say slight, I don't really mean a lot. Even just a little bit higher. Maybe a third of a head higher. Just to kind of give them a little bit of a different contrast. Um, well, also, too, uh, Bebop does share the same issue with uh, Rocksteady. He doesn't have any articulation in the feet. 
sure you can rotate the foot um, same as you could have rotated the boot on Rocksteady but he doesn't actually have any uh, bend at the foot um, had they just done that you could do a little more in the way of posing him other than just having him be flat footed the whole time likeness though he's just awesome uh, again a little bit of a cross between the animated series and the classic toy probably more like the Rocksteady they're leaning closer to classic toys instead of that being the classic cartoon um, Bebop really wasn't too different from between the toy and the cartoon he is unfortunately missing his ponytail I don't know why they've left the ponytail off um, but um, the paint's definitely nice I really like the looking the look of Bebop here if they had only made a way that you could have that lifted the glasses up but that would have only been a piece that you would have lost so I can understand why they would have left that off um, he has some sculpted in grenades but they aren't removable they're sculpted into the vest uh, color is very vibrant very very vibrant indeed uh, even I love just the you know what I love the sculpting especially on the back of Bebop um, Rocksteady has it has it as well but it's certainly a lot more predominant on the wider back of Bebop um, in the way of his articulation now he would share similar articulation as Bebop including the, the issue with the feet that I've already mentioned uh, Bebop's head does rotate left and right doesn't really move up same issue really as Rocksteady it once it hits there it's not going to go any further back but it does move down slightly rotation left and right he does have uh, very easy to move arms via a ball hinge uh, there's actually a hinge socket that sits on a ball joint that pegs in um, but it does rotate the bicep once again a double bend at the elbow so you can get really uh, really cocky with bebop posing or really also you can take his gun and uh, you can put it into his hand now he's got a much larger handle than that of Rocksteady's handgun but uh, you know you can get some really cool uh, poses with them um, he also does have a hinge and rotation well actually he has a rotation at the gauntlet but he does also have a bend at the hand so both are moving independently from one another he does have the ball joint in the upper torso rotates left and right up and down slightly a little more hindered than Rocksteady Rocksteady's seem to move a little bit better than Bebop but he has the same articulation in the leg the leg goes out uh, forward back not a lot though I mean when I say forward that's really about as far as they go uh, back a little bit better he has a rotation in the upper socket of that leg he has a double bend at the knee double bend at the knee and once again the rotation in the foot uh, are these something that you should want to pick up I'm gonna say yes I mean I really hope and this was something actually I was talking to my friend about the other day yes we do talk about Ninja Turtle toys uh, the, the point I w we were making the other day was talking about how playmates could continue with this line and I really think as a good idea because like if you're gonna release characters like April O'Neil possibly even a splinter and maybe some characters that you may not necessarily pick up because April's notorious for being a peg warmer uh, no matter what line she's ever come out in she always tends to be the one that nobody really picks up but really as an idea what they should do is incorporate something that um, Mattel's been doing for a while in Hasbro with build a figure series um, the, the sky's really the limit what they should as, a, as my idea and I'm just throwing it out there uh, what they really should consider doing is a robot Krang body suit build a figure where each figure including an April O'Neil would come with a part to build the Krang robot and then when you get the mech suit Krang which I'm hoping that they will release as a throwback to the original series that Krang could come out and go into the the chest stomach cavity of the robot so you could use it for either or thought it was a great idea I would love to see playmates run with something like this but I'm hoping that they're going to continue pumping, uh, pushing these these figures out. We've already got Rocksteady and Bebop. Of course, we've got the classic Turtles once again. And, uh, you know, obviously a Shredder would be something I would definitely pick up. A Splinter and, uh, you know, Baxter Stockman, uh, Fly Baxter Stockman. All of those figures would be must-pickups. But unfortunately, it's one of those things where 
you really have to support the line. And uh, I don't think Bebop and Rocksteady are going to be hard sells. I mean, this is a really fun, fun toy. While it may not necessarily cater more towards the cartoon end of it, Bebop, I think, translates better. I like him more than I like Rocksteady. Uh, Bebop, I'm going to give him an 8.5. He's just a fun figure. And uh, even though I don't have my... Unfor unfortunately, I don't have my original line of toys anymore. I gave those away. Um, it's nice to get a version of Bebop again in articulated, a new articulated form. So, fantastic work, Playmates. Again, thank you for producing these, and let's hope this line continues to flourish. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic series, Bebop. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned. Spot's going to have some more Toy Spots heading your way. See you guys next time.